Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. My focus. Um, I should say Elf Lori and Baker Elf Lori. I've been making some treats for work and a co-worker for tomorrow. Uh, but I want to stop while everything is cooling and give you my Dollar Tree haul. It's small but mighty. I got some good things. Um, and a couple things I picked up at Target that are relevant. So let's get started with Target. Um, this stuff is out there now. I'm loving these little, the little clothes pins. And this um, sticker on this one says North Pole Express Post Office. I only saw one of these and I needed more. So I grabbed this one and then I grabbed some gold. And these each have six and some red glitter. And you'll see in a minute why I got those. And then I picked up this for my desk for the spring. Um, it's black and white and it says best team on it. And I'm going to put the picture from my Pelotonia team on here um, that we took. And I have printed. I just have to find them. Those pictures upstairs somewhere. But anyway, I want to put this on my desk for the spring. So that's what I got at the Target dollar spot. Nothing of any great. Okay, can we talk about the size of this bag for a minute? Like, it's gigantic. I think that's all they have left. I stopped in tonight just to see. I'm kind of running out of new items to share with us. And the crafting is kind of dialing down now that the busy holiday season is among us. So I might be doing some vlogging. Um, we'll see. I'm not doing Vlogmas. I can't commit to that. But I might do some vlogs for you. If anybody would be interested in my crazy life, let me know. All right. So... I picked up tonight yet another package of these. I'm obsessed. I love them. And I'm fairly certain my cat steals them because I keep losing them and I'm it's me. I live here alone. But anyway, I, they're a dollar. These are great for coffee, for chips, anything you need to like clip and it's really sturdy. So I grabbed those. I grabbed another one of these for a Secret Santa gift at work um, to go with the calendar, the coloring calendar. So I thought that would be a perfect gift. Some colored pens and a little desk calendar that you color. So I grabbed that. Um, I picked up some Carmex because my lips are all chapped. I keep one in my car. Am I the only one that has 50,000 things around? Side note, so I went a couple weeks ago, we went to New Jersey. I was sick with a cold at the time and there was a medical company there, like insurance company on the East Coast. And they were giving out tissues. Hello, who didn't need tissues? It was freezing. And some chapstick. And the chapstick was spearmint and I love it, but I think it's causing my lips to stay chapped because they have been ever since. So I'm tossing that and I got some car mix for my car to do in the morning and the evening. And then at work I have Vaseline and plain Vaseline I'm using. Because everybody needed to know that, right? I picked up some loot bags. Look, they're rainbows. Um, not for right now. This will be for the spring. In June, my work does pride. And my um, boss is the head of our little prideness for the uh, Columbus, I think. But anyway, I thought these would be fun loot bags. There's 25 and they're rainbow. And we can use them for prizes or gifting or whatever. So I thought those were fun. And you know the DT. When you see it, you grab it. Because if not, gonzo. Although I feel like I've seen those here before. But I decided to pick it up today. For future crafting, look at these letters. I mean, they're fun letters in and of themselves. They're black, like, holographic. But what these letters are good for as well, because I believe, yep, yeah, they're stickers. So if you want to do a sign and you don't have a Cricut or you don't want to hand draw them, you can put these stickers down on the surface, paint it, you pick up these stickers and you have the color that's underneath. And I'll do a project with these, but I grabbed them. It's 52 letters, uh, two of each. So we won't do anything too fancy with a lot of like supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, but um, plus you can pick up more. Um, but right now I think two letters is sufficient. So I grabbed that, look at this pen guys. It's, first of all, it's teal, but do you see what it is? It's a sand timer. And I know there's a different name for it. I just can't remember what it is. Hourglass. It's an hourglass. And I'm dying to know what color ink this has in it. Um, they had this color. They had pink and they had black. 
Ooh, it writes really nice. Um, it's black ink, which is fine because that's perfect for what I need, but it writes on my hand anyway, really nice. Um, it looks like, it's like a fine tip and it's an hourglass. Oh God, look at the sun. Look at the label. It's a sloth. Can you see that? I hope so. And this is me being blind. I think it's Greenbrier, but I can't tell it's tiny. Uh, no, I don't. It's imported. Yes, it's Greenbrier. Whew, that was a lot of work, but look how tiny that is. And these glasses, yeah. I'm not sure what's up with that today, but we're gonna go with it. Um, so this is super cute and fun, and I would definitely be busting this out come spring because I feel like it's a spring thing. Hi, Alex. You wanna say hi? Oh, he said no, but I'm going to. Oh, there you go. Say hi. Oh, 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 oh. I want you to love me. He doesn't, he's not feeling it right now. Did you say hi to our friends? They want to see what close and personal like. Oh, <laughs> look at those big eyes. Can you say hi to our friends? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm sitting on the floor and therefore I'm easy game. Okay. Next up. I found, oh, we got the cake boss, some of the cake boss stuff at my store. Not all of it, but some of it. So this is um, two spatulas. Now I have a cat for all over you. Um, and these are great for not only cakes, but all kinds of things like spreading batter, um, especially with keto, I do a lot of cooking. They had single packs for a dollar and double packs for a dollar. So I just bought the double pack because isn't that the smarter thing to do? I think so. So these are great for all kinds of stuff, not just cake baking. And then they had the spatula and the spoonula. So that's a spoonula and that's a spatula. And they had other spatulas. And I need to replace some of mine because they get kind of gross, I feel like, up under here. Like where the rubber meets the wood. But it, again, it was a two set. And I think they're super nice. And they're nice heavy wood. These are def definitely were more than a dollar. Uh, but they're nice. It says devoted to dessert and born to bake. And it's only on one side. And then they had singles of these two. Oh, look. There we go. I was like, is one longer than the other? Yes, it is. It's okay, though. So I grabbed a two-pack of those. They would be great gifts if you had a baker, but my people don't need that. I'm the baker. They just call me when they want something. All right. I picked up some Pounce Soft Treats for my brother and sister-in-law's cat, Tig. Tig, if you're watching, turn away. She likes the soft treats. My boys wouldn't touch this with a 10 foot pole because they're spoiled and they only get eat temptations. Uh, but Tig likes moist treats, so I grabbed those for her. Um, I will tell you what moist treats are good for is hiding pills if you need to. Uh, if I don't give Wellington any other treat but these, he will eat them, but his preference is the temptation. Plus I think allergies. But anyway, if I have to give him pills, I try to buy soft treats and hide them. It works sometimes, sometimes not so much. But I I just hate shoving pills down his little throat. Especially when he's sick. Like that, he's sick, he needs medicine, and I'm manhandling him and wrestling him to the ground to shove a pill shooter down his little throat, and now I hate it. Okay, it's more dramatic than it is in reality, but it's what it feels like. Um, I found the tiny little tweezer set, and these are mini little tweezers. It's got a pointed tip, which says it's for ingrown hairs. Ouch. It has a slanted tip for your brow, and it has a flat edge for thicker hairs. Yeah, because I got this gnarly gray one that grows out my, my mole here. Yeah, hashtag I'm old, and so I have to pluck it. Um, but these are a gift for somebody. For a work gift, I'm putting a set of tweezers. And, sorry, Capper. I found... Um, a little, and I, I have hauled it before, but it's a little nail file with leopard print on it. I'm going to put that in hers with some candy. We just, we're doing a Christmas drawing. So a bunch of us on my team, I think there's going to be eight of the 14 are participating. And tomorrow we'll draw our name of the person that we got. And then it's a $10 limit. And on our little sheet, we put some things that we would like. And we're just going to give each other one gift some of us don't have families and some of us you know just enjoy the work celebration so we're gonna do it all somebody is outside flashing their lights that's my friend 
It's my front bay window. Hence the lack of decorations because that's the cat's world. And when I put stuff in there, they either A, throw up in it or they knock it out. So I just leave it. All right. Now, to do my goodie bags this year, I grabbed two packs of these. We have the penguin and there's 10. And these are loot bags or treat bags, but they're more like a lunch bag. They're a paper sack, just smaller. And so I thought he was adorable, little pump, uh, penguin, not a pumpkin, penguin. And then this one matched it with the ornaments on it. And again, there's 10 in here. So what I'm gonna do is put their treats, fold it down, and then close it with a little clothespin. And then I'll put their name on the outside, maybe on a card or something and tape it on. It, I, I'm not sure that that little clothespin would hold a card and the shut. It's really just decoration. Uh, but I thought that would be super sweet. So I'll have more than I need and that's perfectly fine. I can use it for other things as well. Um, but there's 10 in each and I thought these were great bags instead of the clear ones. Cause these will sit up on their own and I can just plop it on their desk on the day we do that. <sighs> Guys. Okay. If you've been watching for any time, you know my love of stationery and cats, duh. Um, I found Meowgical page markers. Meowgical. I'm gonna open one, and this is from Crown Jewels. Um, so that's not a Greenbrier brand. I grabbed two. One is a gift for somebody on my team. Um, but I want you to be able to, <laughs> oh God, perfect. So we have a Rocket Man, one that's a cactus, a unicorn and a merfish. Guys, come on. Isn't that perfect? Oh my goodness. And you get a fair amount of each one too so if you're taking notes for school your child or something but also what they're great for is bookmarks i'm forever losing my bookmark so i like to use like a post-it or a sticky note as my bookmark because that way you can use it more than one page but it stays so when i'm tossing my book around because typically i read in bed and i fall asleep with it in my bed and these sticky page markers um they don't get lost and i do not score my pages or dog ear my the corners of my books that is a no-no so i grabbed two one for me and one to gift this will go with a journal or something that i'm giving another co-worker this is it is this it well, maybe maybe nope not it i grabbed one more of these for another just a gift to have i mean you can never have too many tweezers and i have a set at work and they're forever being borrowed by other people so they'll be getting tweezers of their very own for christmas and then I found these, and these were just like randomly on a shelf. And these are Mr. Sketch scented crayons. And Mr. Sketch is a name brand. And then I'm gonna show you, these are the Crank Up crayons. And then you crank them down so they don't break. I mean, obviously if you're a heathen, oh, oh. They smell like just like Mr. Sketch markers. Oh, guys. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm afraid of brown. I'm not gonna lie, it's brown. Maybe chocolate, I don't know. I'm sure it says on here, but this blueberry one smells like a blueberry. Um, these will probably be kept, I don't know. They might stay here for me to use when my cousins are over or the little ones come to visit or I'll gift them to somebody. I don't need them, but they sure do smell delicious. So you get an eight pack and brown is cinnamon. Didn't get cinnamon, but you have cherry, orange, banana, apple, blueberry, grape, cinnamon, and black, black raspberry maybe? But this is Mr. Sketch Brand. I saw exactly one in my store and it was on an odd shelf. So I don't know if this is, if they just got a couple in and somebody bought them all up because this would be a great stocking stuffer for the little people in your life or the big people. Cause you know, big people need crayons too. All right, the last thing I got, which I'm pretty excited about 
is some yarn. This is definitely name brand. It's Burnat, which is a really nice quality yarn. And this is self-striping. And these are the colors that you get it comes in. This is definitely a darker, like a navy, the teal, the pink, and this light blue. And then it repeats itself. I grabbed four of these. I think that should be enough to make a baby blanket. Um, I don't have any really buddy to gift it to just yet. But I think one of my niece's friends is having a baby. I believe and so I thought I would make a baby blanket if not she's she's of the age and you know what quite frankly my cats love it when I crochet them blankets and it could end up in that front window there um, there's a rug in there now but I like to especially in the winter time put a blanket down for them because it gets a little chilly in there and you know they're spoiled they're spoiled <laughs> all right guys well that is everything I hope you enjoyed um, you have a good weekend and I will talk to you on Monday. Oh, and leave in the comments below if there's any crafts you would like to see. I did the felting one. It was up today, which is Wednesday. Um, I have a couple more ideas. I'm not sure if we want any more holiday type crafts or are we going to move on to general crafting, you know, general DIYs. I know we're in December, but it's the beginning. I'll probably still do some crafting, but I'm not sure what you want to see. So let me know in the comments below. All right, everybody, have a good one. Bye.